Today I'm going to be changing the oil on a 2020 Subaru Forester Limited. Let's do it for its first oil change. This is the non turbo edition, of course, all wheel drive. It's the one with the single exhaust. So we do not have dual exhaust this year. And it says it takes. 4.8 liters of 0W20. So these are the parts that we'll be using today for our oil change on the Subaru. Went to Walmart, got a Fram oil guard. Sorry, oil filter. 10,000 mile protection. I'm going to change it in the next 5,000 miles anyways. But it's part PH7317. And it says to use 0W20, but I'm going to use full synthetic. It says 4.8 liters and 4.73 liters. That's what this bottle contains. So this is about 24 bucks, and this is about just over three bucks. So for like 29 something odd cents, you can change your oil. Okay, just a little walk through how to get your hood up. There's the lever. Right here. We'll walk around to the front of your car and under here is this tiny little lever we'll push that over lift it up grab this brace and set it up in there here's a better look at that lever Next, you're going to need to have to jack the car up to get at it. And so, as you can place the jack on this right here. So, this area here. Hopefully, you can see that. And that's what I'll do next. We've got it all jacked up. The tools you're going to need Phillips screwdriver and a box end wrench or a 14 millimeter socket. Next, you're going to have to go underneath here. And you're also going to need a flathead screwdriver. There's an access panel. Let's see it? Here. And right there, there's a Phillips. Then you need a flathead screwdriver to take these little tabs out. The tabs are relatively easy. You just gotta get the Phillips screwdriver underneath them. And then twist it so the cap comes forward. And then it's popped right out. I'll show you here. Screwdriver underneath one. I need to pop the tap and fall right up. There's four of those to do. Alright, so once you get the tabs out, you can swing this out of your way. And you can see the drain plug. Sweet. There. Loosen that up 14 millimeter wrench and drain the oil. Alright, now we're going to drop the plug. I'm going to drop it in the oil pan. All right, so next we're going to loosen up the oil filter. 
Get the rest of the oil out. And I'll just take this cap off. Leave some of the pressure if there's anything in there. Clean that up. And then put the new oil filter on. This guy, PH7317 from Fram. So I got the oil filter off. Wiped that out with some paper towels. And the cap's off. The cap's been cleaned. So now just to get some... Alright, so we're ready to put the oil filter on. I'm going to put a little dab of oil around the outside edge of it. Just run along the bead. I usually take the gasket out at this time. I'm going to leave it in there. It's a good place to sit it. Fresh oil around there. Stick it on. Put it on after so it spins on freely. And you want to just get it on hand tight. I'm going to crank it on after I wipe my hand off, but that's that. Oil filter on, it's time to put some oil in it. I've already put the plug back in the oil train plug in. And we're going to put in our 0W20. And after that, we'll check the oil's dipstick. There. We should be off and running.